Do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? <sighs> Finally. W what is it? I found an ingredient for that new recipe. <laughs> Maybe something's going on in the forest. What's this thing? Do you really think we should trust accommodations from a Renan Lord? How do we know it's safe? Like we have any other choice. We can't go and set up camp outside of town at this hour. Honestly, I'd still take that over staying here. What if they try to kill us in our sleep? I doubt that's the case. His best chance to kill us would have been back at the palace. His true intentions aside, for now at least we're in his good books. And we probably shouldn't test his patience. Let's find that in and check in. Interesting. All we ever got was a tattered blanket, a rock-hard bed, and well past its prime food. What are you talking about? What we got for our slave labor back in Calaglia. As you can tell, it wasn't much at all. Here, the Danans get the same basic amenities, but the quality is way better than anything we were given. Hell, apparently they even get time off to do what they want. If I'm being honest, I'm... I'm not sure how to take all this in. Could it be that things were simply harsher in Calaglia compared to everywhere else? It was the same in Cislodia, too. Our buildings and clothing were equipped to handle the cold, but that was the only difference. Working the floodlights was a form of punishment, so we didn't really get rewarded for anything that we did. Yeah, you could be assigned to fix food or make daily necessities too, but when all was said and done, most of that stuff went to the Renans. There wasn't much in the way of compensation for any of that, so I'd say that Cislodia and Calaglia were both pretty awful. An Elder Menencia really is unusual. To say the least. Hell, I might even go so far as to call it crazy. But the fact remains, Danans aren't free here. Yeah, no matter how happy they look, they're still slaves. I don't even know what to think right now. This is all way too much to deal with. It's giving me a headache. So that was Lord Dolim, huh? He sure is something. Definitely not like the other lords we've met up until now. At first, he sounded like just some snobby royal. 
but he immediately shut down Xion's surprise attack. He's tougher than he looks. Definitely. After all, he's a lord for a reason. The food was pretty damn good, too. Why are you two complimenting him? You just said it yourself, Alfin. He's a Renan lord. Yeah, but he didn't act hostile towards us. You're reading him wrong. He's acting indifferent. He's attempting to keep some distance between himself and everyone else. It's obvious. What are we going to do then? Vicent seems to be legit peaceful. Are we just going to do as he says and leave things be? I'm not entirely sure. For now, I think it would be best for us to rest at the inn and think about our options. Welcome, fair travelers. Lord Dohalim's retainer told us to expect you. It is an honor for you to stay with us. Please, make yourselves comfortable. This is better than I expected. <clears throat> the room. It's nice. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. It is pretty nice. You okay, Law? You're a million miles away. Nah, it's... weird. I felt strange ever since we arrived here. Can't seem to shake it. Maybe it's something about this place. You're just tired. I'm feeling pretty sluggish myself. You too? Seriously, you two? A word to the wise, our work here is far from over. Get yourselves together. <sighs> I'm sorry, but I need to call it a day. Let's meet back here tomorrow morning and see where things go from there. Sound good? Sure, but keep an eye out for anything strange, okay? We still don't know how safe this place really is. Are you two feeling any better? Yeah, a good night's sleep seems to have done the trick. I wonder why we felt so out of it. You think it might have been because of all the food we ate? You don't think they slipped something into our food, do you? That must be it. If they were making an attempt on our lives, we'd know it by now. Though, on the other hand, they could be warning us off. Come to think of it, you didn't eat anything at the meal, Rinwell. Aren't you starving? Oh, I made myself something later. You missed out. That was some mighty fancy grub they served yesterday. What? And give the enemy a chance to poison me, too? Are you crazy? What's the big deal? Xion ate it, too, remember? And we both tried the same stuff. Well, maybe they laced it with poison that's only harmful to Danins, hmm? That's enough, Rinwell. <sighs> a cat? Where'd it come from? There's something on its collar. Hold on a sec. I think it's trying to lead us somewhere. I'm gonna follow it. H hey! Where do you think you're going? Stay close. We're gonna lose it. What's gotten into you, Law? This might be the lead we've been waiting for. Seriously? Yeah. Some people train animals to act as messengers. They don't attract attention, see? And you think that someone might be using that cat? To reach out and send us a message or something? I could be wrong, but it's possible. I'm impressed. 
I would never have thought of that. I should know. We used to use them in Cislodia. She's so adorable. You say something? So, that black cat, do you think it works for someone? I'm sure it does. It wouldn't try to lead us around like that if somebody didn't train it to. I wouldn't know. I've never had one myself. If I did, it'd probably try to eat poor Hoodle. Huh. I wonder who they are, though. I doubt this is Dohalim's work. Yeah, he has no reason to do this. Although we can't rule out that it might be one of his lackeys, either. You think one of his subordinates is up to something? That Dohalim guy is a pretty unusual character for a Renan, let alone for a lord. It's hard for me to imagine that they all agree with what he's doing. Maybe one of them plucked up the courage to go rogue. Well, let's head further in. I'd like to figure out at least one of the mysteries of this place. We should hurry. We don't want to lose it. Whoever came up with this is pretty damn clever. Yeah, it just looks like an ordinary cute cat. We lost sight of the cat. After the chase it's led us on, there's got to be something up ahead. Let's go farther in. I get that underground forests aren't exactly something you see every day, but I really could have done without any zoogles running around. You said it. I get the city up top surrounded by castle walls, but now I won't be able to sleep easy knowing they're lurking underneath. You have nothing to fear. Zoogles work for the Renans. There might be strays out here, but the other Zoogles won't let them get close. Using Zoogles to keep watch over their own kind, huh? That would explain why we're not seeing any guards. Yeah, which makes it that much easier for someone to hide around here, too. Shion, my foot slipped. Are you all right? I should be asking you. <laughs> what am I saying? Of course you're okay. It's easy to forget sometimes. If anybody else had been in your place, they'd be howling right about now. Huh? Oh, right. You mean your thorns. Yeah, I'm uh, no worse for wear over here. Again, sorry for brushing you like that without warning. Well, just be careful. <sighs> hey, Alfin? Hmm? 
Forget it. It's nothing. I'm sorry to bother you. Uh, oh, okay. What's with those two? Precision improving. The reason the trees around here are so big is because of astral energy, right? It's possible, but give them enough time and trees can get pretty big on their own without any extra help.
Not today! Say no more! Shut! Well done! Fix it! Fight the one! Save you! I'm even stronger than before! Careful, we don't want to fall here. Yeah, I doubt anyone would hear if we even called for help. I don't think people flattened into pan- I won't forgive you! weapons with this. Come and 
healing. Small fry. Hey, new equipment. Here's the 
Some power you wield. You're the one who did the heavy lifting. Everywhere you look, it's nothing but green, green, and more green. Just like Calaglia. Rocks, rocks, and more. Let's dispose of the trash. Hey, what did I get so Feel my precision improving. I think the animals back at the ranch should be all grown up by now. I love the sound of hammers banging away. I've never seen anything like these plants before. It's like they're an invasive species. Not that I'm surprised. Calaglia's all dry and Cislodia is... Watch out! Ah! What the hell? Is that a Zugal? That thing is huge! Everyone, be careful! Ah, why can't these dumb plants just keep to themselves? Less whining and more fighting, thanks. Yeah, yeah, I got you. What? The enemy is over there. Now you see what I can do! Here I come! 
Everyone okay? I'm starting to get that it's a trap feeling again, guys. We'll just pray you're wrong. Hey, there's that cat. Looks like it's not done leading us yet. There's always room for improvement. Should we really be lighting a campfire in the middle of a forest? Mind if I join you, Law? Hey, Alfin. When do you find the time to train? What's brought this on all of a sudden? It's just, even without the Blazing Sword, you'd still be able to hold your own, right? But I never see you training. 
I'd hardly call it a regimen. Unless exchanging blows with Zoogles counts. I mean, sure, I get that real-life practice beats training any day. But you must have the odd trick or two up your sleeve. I just told you. I really don't. Wait, I've got it. It's your armor, right? You channel the extra weight into your strikes and... It's actually not as heavy as it looks. So not the armor, huh? In that case... <sighs> just calm down a little, would you? Why are you so fixated on this anyway? Well, because I want to make myself stronger. You're strong enough as it is. I almost feel sorry for those Renan soldiers. It's not enough. I need to keep working to get stronger. I won't allow myself to fail anyone again. Law? I'm useless the way I am now. If someone else dies because of me... Law! Uh, uh, sorry. Spiraling into self-doubt won't do me any favors. I know that. None of us are invincible, Law. We're all just getting by, doing the best we can. That's all we can ask of each other, right? It's as good a place as any to start, I guess. To start what? My new training regimen, of course. And what better way to kick it off than push-ups? One, two, three, four. <laughs> I admire your enthusiasm. Just don't overdo it, okay? Just wait. You'll see how strong I can get. See you guys tomorrow. I feel pretty refreshed after that sleep. This had better not all be for nothing. Somehow I doubt it'll be a wasted trip. Really? Whatever you say. You know, for a guard, you're not too good at tailing people. <clears throat> not to brag, but this kind of thing is my specialty. So it really is you. When Law told us, I almost didn't believe it. I'm just surprised you could do two things at once, Law. What's that supposed to mean? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> It looks like somebody needs to be put in their place. The one time I wanted to resolve things peacefully. What the hell? I thought you wanted us to leave. You'll never make me talk. Not helpful. In fact, you're pretty damn stubborn, you know that? That's enough. Damn it. Take this. Ready? Fly. 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 It's over. Fly. 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 Not done yet! Talon Hurricane! Strike! Oh, I'm 
What's your deal, huh? Did Doalim put you up to this? You send us away and then come to finish us off? I don't buy it. <gasps> I wonder. We came here following a black cat. What reason could you have for tagging along? Certainly not as a spy. You think she might have business with whoever called us out here? And even if she did, I highly doubt she was trying to keep us from harm. Am I wrong? Just who was it that led us out here? Answer me. Are you serious? <laughs> Hold your horses. I'm the one who summoned you all here. Well, maybe not all. Nice of you to drop by, Kisara. It's been a while. You two know each other? Hello, brother.
So, you're the big heroes who liberated Calaglia and Cislodia, huh? It's an honor to meet you all. We didn't do it all on our own. We had a lot of support from others along the way. <laughs> so, wait. Kisara's your sister? Yep, that she is. The only family I have left. She was the dreamer of the two of us. Full of hope for the future of this realm. For both Danans and Renans alike. For siblings, you two don't exactly look like you're on the best of terms. That's because Migal here is a traitor. Isn't that right? <laughs> we were in the Guard together. That is, until he was caught plotting to assassinate His Excellency Lord Dohalim. He took off after that. Is that true? You still believe that's what happened? I don't see why I shouldn't. Even if the truth slapped you in the face, you'd reject it. Same as back then. Heck, even now I'm still working to serve Lord Dohalim. More lies. You haven't changed. Before Lord Dohalim came to power, this country was ruled by an oppressive regime. We lost both of our parents to it. Back in those days, there were countless Danon children who had been orphaned by the Renan's tyranny, just like us. So we formed our own families among ourselves and helped each other out, surviving as best we could. And then Lord Dohalim came along. He abolished the oppression that kept us down, and the Danans were treated like people again. Menencia was reborn under his watch, and orphan children became a thing of the past. If so, then why did you betray him? I'm not done talking. I'm sure you know the Renans are trying to harvest astral energy from us Danans. Yes. Shion here told me that's how they decide their next sovereign. That's right. There are five types of astral energy. Earth, water, fire, wind, and light. All of them are contained within every living being. And that's the excuse they use to enslave us. You ever wondered what happens to living beings and other matter when they lose all their astral energy? They just die, or so I thought. If only. See for yourselves. What the... is that... is that... metal? Not metal, but to be honest, your guess is as good as mine. I believe it's... nothing. Matter with no physical form, just a reminder of what was once there. They call it the Hollowing. The Hollowing? The process itself is invisible to the naked eye, but it makes the impacted area reflective. Once it consumes my whole body, that's it for me. I'm dead. What? That can't... Miguel. When were you going to... A sinister plot is unfolding as we speak. One Lord Dohalim is likely none the wiser to. It was blind luck I even found out about it. I tried to warn the man for all the good it did. Take a look at this. It's called the Fruit of Helgen. When a Danon eats this fruit, their body enters a heightened state, one that causes them to emit more astral energy than usual. Hold on. Could this be the reason Alfin and Law were feeling out of sorts last night after we ate with Dohalim? Sounds like you've been introduced to these things before. None too surprising, either. Most of the realm's food supply contains traces of the fruit. If that's what we ate, does that mean we'll become hollowed like your hand? You don't need to worry. You'd have to consume a large amount of the fruit regularly to exhibit any symptoms. But if that's the case, 
Then why aren't I showing any symptoms? Why would you be inflicted and not me? If I had to guess, because the guards' meals are free of it. Otherwise, they'd risk Lord Dohalim noticing. I tried to warn him, but all it got me was locked up. They force-fed me the fruit the entire time I was in chains. It's a miracle I made it out. They eventually left me for dead, thinking I would succumb to my condition. But I survived and managed to escape. So the assassination plot. Just a cover-up? What? Eventually, I found others like me. And together, we founded the Gold Dust Cats. Our mission is to uncover the truth and warn Lord Dohalim. As you can see, though, we haven't gotten very far in that regard. But I'm hoping that's about to change now you're here. Which is all thanks to your faithful feline servant. It was a shot in the dark. But fortunately, you recognized her for what she was, and Zarae accomplished her mission with flying colors. So what's our plan of attack, boss? One of the Lord's routine inspections of the city. It's the only time commoners can talk to him face to face. That's the idea, anyway. His security is bound to be on high alert, but with you lot along, it's the best chance we're going to get to approach him. All right, we're in. But I have to know, how do you keep going with all you've been through? How have you not given up hope? Hey, someone has to fight for the future of the Danans here. The future? Lord Doheli may be a wonderful person, but in the end, he's still a lord like any other. And lords can be replaced. Once the current contest is over, the next Lord of Elba Menencia will take over. Then it'll be back to square one for all of us. That's why it's imperative Lord Dohalim sees the light. You really believe Dohalim is going to stick his neck out for a Danon like you? Is it so impossible to imagine? Everything begins with a simple leap of faith. Right. 